Hi, everyone. Happy Friday and welcome to the newest episode of Meta Zlüni, our weekly LinkedIn video series brought to you by the Meta Switzerland team. And today, again, I have a very special guest uh, who you can see here already on the screen with uh, also a little robot in the background, uh, which is Silvia. Silvia is the founder and the CEO of Arabesque um, and also a thought leader when it comes to AI and robotics. And we wanted just to showcase and bring her in today to yeah, showcase some of the great innovation that is happening here in the Zurich area. So Sylvia, amazing to have you today. And as always, let's start with the questions and let's dive right in. So first of all, when, when I think, and also today's consumers think about robots, um, what might come to mind is the movie iRobot or the use of robots for industrial processes, such as in the automotive industry. And I would love to hear based on your long experience in the robotics field, can you Tell us more about how you think robots will shape the future. Yes. Um, hi, Kim. Thanks for having me. Uh, yeah, I'd love to uh, talk about how robots will shape our future. I think, um, first of all, uh, what is important to say is that robots are on an exponential growth. Um, and second of all, we have not only industrial robots, but we have this kind of new category of robots, which are called service robots. And those are typically robots like social robots like Pepper or care robots or logistics robots. And those bring a service to us humans. So this will actually change the way we live our lives, whether in a professional or in a personal way. So what I want to mm -hmm. say is not only if you're in an industrial environment, in an automotive environment, you are uh, continuously working with robots, but also if you work in a hotel, if you work in a hospital, if you work in retail, or if you are a client of those institutions, there will be more and more robots um, deployed, which uh, optimize processes, obviously, and uh, also bring a service and an experience to the human. So I think the aspect of the experience is very important when we think about how robots will shape our future. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And I think one point of uh, discussion is always like, um, how will you know the combination of us as humans and robots look like and how will we interact and um, how, how will that be in the future? And I would love to hear, because I know you've done quite some projects already with those service robots right now. If you have any recent example from a project where those humans and robots interacted together in the real world that work particularly well and really uh, could be shared as a prime example with our audience. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to uh, talk about a um, example in an elderly home. And uh, when we think about elderly people, we think, oh, not sure if this is working out well. Um, actually, it's the opposite. So kids and elderly people react really, really well and openly to robots and uh, new technologies. And um, so uh, imagine uh, people uh, like 80 or 90 years old uh, being confronted with a robot to do brain training, to do fitness, um, to interact with any kind of speech or entertainment or music. Um, and uh, we have this um, current example. We deployed a robot like Pepper uh, this summer in an elderly home here in Switzerland. And it worked extremely well. Uh, we really also um, could show actually people uh, to, to break these barriers and that elderly people love to interact with the robot. They were actually uh, going that far that when the robot was not around, they were looking in the elderly home. Where is my robot? Where can I find my robot? So, yeah, there were a lot of very, very um, uh, interesting uh, encounters. Um, wow. and it was a very successful project. Yeah. Wow, that uh, sounds super interesting. I, I, I'll definitely sign up of that. Uh, I still have some time to go, but uh, that sounds yeah interesting. And we'll also, um, I think, a link to this example project in the comments for everyone, so you can really have a look on how that worked. And when we switch gears a little bit, uh, one other topic that I also wanted to hear your thoughts about is AI, because AI is one of the buzzwords that um, every CMO kind of talks about today when, when we have conversations. And also from our side, Meta is doing a lot of research in the field of AI when it comes to like how AI, for example, can help in the healthcare area. And love to hear um, how you see the combination of AI and robots 
and how they can be used in a positive way, particularly to shape our future. Mm -hmm. I think um, AI and robots as a combination is super interesting because we all know AI software, we all experienced AI software, but when we combine it with robots, which are physical robots moving around in a room, interacting with humans, plus the AI software, which is um, doing analysis, statistics, automation, but also uh, it could be a chatbot. Um, so we have actually additional opportunities to, to, um, uh, to have these digital experiences and uh, I think it's super interesting because, uh, yeah, the combination of both is definitely something which will grow in the future as well. Mm -hmm. We're already uh, doing that, but I think the AI actually combined with the physical robot is an absolute plus and very, very interesting. Yes, yes, to totally agree on that, totally agree. And um, I think the, the final point that we also discussed in some of the earlier conversations we had was really, um, how can you, um, to you know, a, a person or let's say to a business, showcase the benefit of actually deploying a robot? And there, of course, I mean, the, the best part to do is that when you have a robot, you just bring them somewhere like Pepper you have in the background, but that might not always be possible. And as you know, we recently announced our name change to Meta and we're uh, heavily focused on building the metaverse, um, really an immersive world as a successor of the mobile internet. And one very important part there is augmented and virtual reality. And I just would love to hear your perspective on um, how do you think about you know, leveraging AR or VR to uh, demonstrate the benefit of robots might have when you can't deploy those robots in an actual place. So would love to hear your thoughts and if, if that's something maybe you're, you're looking into. Yeah, Kim, it's actually an interesting question because uh, me working mainly in the field of service robots, we are not using so much VR yet. Um, it's, it's more deployed currently in the industrial robot area, but mm -hmm. I think it gives us a new angle currently what we do when we start a project, we, we would actually demonstrate the robot physically or do a pilot physically. Um, and when you ask this question, uh, I was thinking, yeah, this is actually a new perspective, which is not deployed so much yet, but I'm sure this will pick up because it gives us a new digital um, way of moving forward and uh, making our lives easier. So yeah. uh, clients will not have to come uh, to our offices or somewhere to actually look at the robot and get the full demonstration, which is uh, with, uh, VR and AR um, have a simple tool at hand i mean simple a simple and good tool at hand to to get that experience uh, virtually which i think is super interesting yeah thanks thanks I'm... so much for sharing your perspective and uh, yeah i mean there's a lot of development coming also from our end to to make that a little bit easier so uh, i'm sure mm -hmm. we connect on good. this topic uh, soon in the future again um exactly and, yeah yeah i mean just big thank you again for uh, i think sharing all your insights uh, for everyone that's watching we'll link to the arabes page where you can really see some concrete examples of projects that are already in place today this is not something that is happening in 10 15 years but those robots are already being deployed so um i hope you found it interesting thanks to you again sylvia for joining us today for this episode of meta uh, it's definitely not going to be the last one and with that i wish you all a wonderful friday and hear you soon thank you so much guys Bye-bye. Thank you, Kim. Bye.